Hello everybody, it's been a while and I apologize for that but I'm here today because recently my local library was having a book sale with a very intriguing offer of fill a bag for two dollars. So I went and um may have gone slightly overboard. So this is gonna be a little haul video and when I say little I mean it's kind of going to be a giant haul video. But let's just dig in. Let's just see what we got here. So the first book I picked up was Hypochondria Can Kill by Joan Nash. It's basically just a comedic book of like every single little way you can die. And I'm sure it wouldn't be great if you're actually a hypochondriac, but um, since I'm not, I feel like it'll be very entertaining. Recently, I've gotten very into Henry James. I've read a couple of his short stories and stuff. So I decided to add a few more Henry James stories to my collection, namely The Bostonians and The Turn of the Screw, The Ashburn Papers, and uh, Two Stories. Next, I got a book called A Quick Kiss of Redemption and Other Stories by David Means. I'd never heard of this. I'd never heard of David Means before, but it's basically just a book of short stories that he wrote. I started reading the first one. And it's really good so far. I'm looking forward to reading the rest of it, and I'll let you know. How it goes. Next, I picked up a copy of Huckleberry Finn, which I read, but I don't own a copy of it, so I decided to officially own it so that I can highlight it everything. And it's gonna be great. Then I got a book called The Last Jew by Yoram Kanak. Don't know much about it, but looking forward to it. We have American and I, short stories by American Jewish woman. Because, you know, why not? Short stories are good. I found a copy of some Jack London stories, namely The Call of the Wild, White Fang, and The Sea Wolf. I've read The Call of the Wild before, but again, didn't own a copy. And I haven't read the other two, so looking forward to that. Also, let's just talk about this binding, because it's pretty freaking great. Like, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, next I got a copy of Everyman by Philip Roth. I've heard of this one sort of in passing, but I still don't know much about it. Then I got a book called The Wake of the Wind by J. California Cooper. Again, don't know much about this one either. That's sort of the trend. That's usually what happens for me when I go to library book sales. Like, I don't know much about, like, the books that I'm picking up. Because they're not like the, like, the new releases and stuff that you've heard about. But that's kind of cool. So yeah, most of these, um, are new to me. But, who knows? Then I got a book called The Prince and the Prosecutor by Peter J. Heck. I was attracted to this one because it says a, a Mark Twain mystery. And I was reading a little bit um, of the description. There's apparently a whole series of these, like Mark Twain mysteries. I love Mark Twain, so I figured this has got to be good. Like, that's the law of cause and effect, right? Like, one thing leads to another, right? Next, I got a book called Caucasia by Danzy Shana. I think I've heard of this one in passing, but I don't know much about it. It sounds like it's basically about like racial divides in the country and possibly generally the world. I'm not really sure how broad it gets. Then I got a collection of essays by Andre Kadriscu. It's called The Muse is Always Half-Dressed in New, or New Orleans. And that's another thing that I've been really into, is sort of essay memoir story books where like each essay kind of ties into each other and tells a larger story. Then I got A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest J. Gaines. I've obviously heard of this one because I think most people have heard of this one. Then uh, we got The Hope We Seek by Rich Shapiro. I'll be honest with you, I picked this one up almost exclusively for this cover art because look at this. It's pretty fantastic. Tiny Sunbirds Far Away by Christine Watson. This one I also kind of bought for the cover, but it also sounds very interesting. It's also kind of about racial divides in the country. I don't know why that was the theme that I sort of went with with these books. It just happened to be the case that a lot of the books that I found and was interested in were about prejudice and racial divides for some reason, but I mean, that's okay. Then I got A Letter to a Child Never Born by Oriana Fallacy. Basically a letter to the child she never had. I haven't read a lot of books about motherhood or pregnancy or um, any kind of maternal 
instinct kind of stuff, but this one sounded really interesting. We have Arranged a Marriage. It's a collection of short stories about arranged marriage, and some of them are sort of depressing, some of them are really inspiring. I'm really looking forward to this one. I mean, I'm looking forward to a lot of them. That's why I picked them up. We got The Legend of Pardeep Matthew Mayhew. First of all, cover again. Let's appreciate that for a minute. This one sounds just funny and sort of wise and insightful at the same time. And I feel like it's just going to be the kind of book that I just love. And then finally, our last book in this now empty Whole Foods bag is House of Sand and Fog by Andre de Boss III. That's pretty much it for me. Just wanted to show you what I got. And I'm gonna go do some reading. Bye guys!